What are some of the secret weapons of TypeScript that you can use in your applications? If you're new to TypeScript, just a real quick overview here. You can actually take your ES5 code today and plug that in to this TypeScript compiler that we're going to look at here. And what it will do for you is instantly tell you you screwed up. <laughs> um, because it will catch errors that, quite honestly, you just wouldn't catch otherwise, especially in larger uh, apps. But what's really cool is the custom type. So we're going to talk more about that in just a moment here. So here's an example. Uh, age is a string. Uh, we have a number. Uh, something needs to be marked as a Boolean. But notice uh, this accessories here. Well, this is saying that this is called a union type. And this allows us to say accessories, can, you can pass me a string, or if you want, you can pass me a string array. Interfaces are a really cool technique that they're not available in JavaScript directly, but they are in TypeScript. If you're new to interfaces, uh, they're a code contract. And what I mean by a code contract is you're told to build this, but you know, not this. Kind of like this. You were asked to build this, but you built this. It's close. They both fly, hopefully. But that's kind of like saying in code that that is the same as that. And uh, you know, there's a little bit of a difference there. We have to be a little more exact as developers. Well, with interfaces, I can be very specific about what you're supposed to pass me. Uh, next super or secret weapon, and it's generics. This is also very awesome. So generics are a code template. Generics can be used in multiple ways. One way is if you had a class that needs to support different types. In other words, sometimes I want to use a number. Sometimes I want to use a, a string. Sometimes I want to use a, an array, you know, whatever it may be. Then generics will really help you with this. This is saying I want to make a list of some type. That's what the T is. And you'll notice in the ad here, this is the template portion. It's kind of like a mail merge, you know, dear so-and-so. And then you want to pull in, dear John, dear Jane, dear whatever. Well, you can do that with this. So to use this guy would look like this. You could say, new list of iCustomer in this case. That's that interface I showed earlier. And what that's going to do for us now is I can now make a list of number. I can make a list of customer. I can make a list of this, a list of that, you know, whatever I want, and reuse this over and over and over. Now, in the editor, why this is so cool, and you'll see this in a moment, is when I do the add there, notice first name, last name, that adheres to the interface. If I left out first name or last name, we're going to get some errors in the editor. So I'll instantly know I screwed up. You know, the JavaScript releases nowadays, they're pretty much on a yearly cadence, and they're trying to be anyway. And the browsers out there uh, simply just can't keep up with all this, right? Uh, so. I think we're always going to be in this mode of leveraging things like TypeScript because I don't want to work with the lowest common denominator. I want to work with some you know, cool, new, fancy stuff. So as a review, we can have type support, excellent tooling, interfaces, generics, and we can leverage the future today. And I appreciate you listening, and I hope you are able to leverage some of this stuff with TypeScript in your app. So thanks.